Welcome to Natas English Mini Lessons. Today we are going to provide you a gentle introduction to fossil bears. Fossil bears are usually used by native speakers in a so frequent way, but however it's so difficult for students. So that's why we are going to see that today. Okay, what is it? What, what are fossil bears? Fossil bears are a combination of a verb and a particle. The particle could be a preposition, like for example, look for, good look for means search, or it could be a verb and an upper, like for example, look through, through is, is an upper, or also it could be a combination of both, a verb, a verb and preposition, like for example, look for where to, which means um, be willing enough doing something. The difficulty of fossil verbs is also related to, to the two types of fossil verbs that we have in English. They could be separable or inseparable. The separable uh, fossil verbs are verbs plus an object and a preposition. It means that the object is in the middle. Like, for example, switch the light off. The light, the object, is between the preposition and the verb. Uh, the inseparable one uh, is a verb, preposition, and the object is at the end of the phrasal verb. For example, she got on, uh, she got on the bus, which is the bus, the object. And another important thing that we should know about phrasal verbs is that they are normally used in a not very formal context. They are more used in an informal register. Um, however, they use the in they use Latinate verbs. They are verbs which come from a Latin uh, root. They use it in a more formal register. So, so that's why it's important to know phrasal verbs because if you want to uh, speak in English with people from the street, you should uh, have a good uh, level of phrasal verb or a good knowledge of some phrasal verbs. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these mini lessons. That's all, that's all for today. See you the next time.